Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to create a featured collection slider as you can see here and it's the same as the featured collection but you have a choice of having a, a slider instead so here in the section you can still change like adapt your image to portrait or square and enable swipe on mobile and then show second image on hover and add some padding and show image border and show vendor and then uh, show product grading if you have it activated everything would be the same as the featured collection to start we have to go to our online store so in here we go to teams we're not going to edit the live team instead we're going to edit the dawn team that i haven't customized yet so click actions and then edit code and let's expand our screen by clicking this button and we're looking for a section folder and we're going to create a section so we need the section folder and add a new section and this one i'm going to name collection dash slider and create a section now we go to our um, website and then grab our code right here all the way to the bottom right here the end schema Control c and then replace this code right here so Control a to highlight and Control v to paste and then click save now we have to create an asset folder so we can have our css style sheet so we go to our um, asset folder and then create the new asset so add a new asset and in here create a blank file and make sure it's a .css and i'm going to call this collection dash slider add asset so i already have this one here added with the name collection dash slider so let's open our collection dash sliders .css and then we're going to go back to our website and grab this code right here Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And then click save. And we're almost done. Last thing we have to do is to edit our global.js so we can have the slider component functionality. So in our asset folder, let's go to global.js right here. We're looking for slider components. So Control F to find and um, let's say slider component so this is what we're looking for and we have to go back to our code again i'm um, into our website and then we're going to copy this one and add it to the constructor so right here the constructor so add it after the next button so Control v and then go back to the website again and we're gonna have this code right here and in the init pages we're going to replace this um total pages so highlight this and then Control v to paste the code that you just copied and let's fix it a little bit and next we're gonna grab the other code too for the update function so Control c this one and this one is for the update function what we're replacing is this current page sorry this current page right here so Control v and let's fix it okay and that's it and click save so make sure you save everything and let's do a customization uh click this button right here i'm just gonna right click and open a new tab so let's remove the sections that we don't need and then add a new section and we're looking for the collection slider right here and then um, in the collection slider you can click that and then select the collection um, for me i'm going to use spiking the height of the image really matters which you can easily manipulate by changing this portrait or uh, square and um, you can still have the enable swipe on mobile show second image on hover and add an image padding and show vendor and also you can have the show product reading if you have it activated and it should be working okay and when you click it it should let you go to your product 
And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, you can easily reach me at chat with us or leave me a comment at my website or in YouTube. And thank you so much for watching.